it seems like each new day brings us some sort of a new disaster. For example, on Monday, the California coast was hit by a magnitude 6.2 earthquake. The magnitude 6.2 earthquake hit Northern California on Monday, bringing significant shaking but likely minimal damage to the sparsely populated area. The earthquake occurred just after noon and was centered off the coast about 210 miles northwest of San Francisco, just off a tiny town called Petrolia, that's home to fewer than 1,000 people. The nearest population center, Eureka, is about 45 miles north. The good news is that the area where this quake struck is sparsely populated and not much damage was done. So, a lot of people will forget about this earthquake very quickly, but that is a huge mistake. Seismic activity is increasing all over the world, and this is especially true along the Ring of Fire. Last week, the eyes of the nation were on the extreme winds and violent tornadoes that erupted in the middle of the nation. According to the Weather Channel, what we witnessed was some of the strangest weather in the history of the Upper Midwest. Wednesday's widespread windstorm, severe weather outbreak, and unusual heat from the Rockies and Plains into the Upper Midwest were so bizarre for December that even weather historians were in awe, according to the Weather Channel. I can say with some confidence that this event, the heat and tornadoes, is among the most, if not the most, anomalous weather events ever on record for the Upper Midwest, weather historian Christopher Burt said. The damage that was caused by the tornadoes was simply jaw-dropping, and the power of the windstorms completely shocked a lot of the experts. In fact, we are being told that last Wednesday, the U.S. experienced the highest number of hurricane-force gusts in a single 24-hour period ever recorded. When wind speeds are that high, wildfires can easily get out of control, and almost 400,000 acres were burned in the state of Kansas in less than three days. As of Thursday, the Forest Service reported nearly 400,000 acres had burned across the state in less than three days. The bulk of that, almost 366,000 acres, was in the Four County area. Many farmers lost everything. In some cases, the fires moved so fast that there was not even time to move animals out of the way. One firefighter that was on the front line said that he had never seen fire move so rapidly in his entire life. It looked like a massive massive ball of rolling fire and smoke, said Keith Haber, emergency manager for Russell and Ellsworth counties. Haber, who has worked as a firefighter and emergency manager for more than 20 years, described the blaze as incredible. He said he had never seen fire move that fast. The record number of billion-dollar natural disasters hit the United States in 2020, and I believe that we are going to absolutely smash that record again in 2021. But this is all perfectly normal, right? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Of course the entire world has been hit by disaster after disaster during the past two years, and this has brought us to the brink of an unprecedented global food crisis. The following originally comes from the Washington Post. Because of the pandemic global hunger shot up by an estimated 118 million people worldwide in 2020, jumping to 768 million people, the most since as far back as 2006. The number of people living with food insecurity, or those forced to compromise on food quantity or quality, surged by 318 million to 2.38 billion. Global food supplies are going to get even tighter in 2022 and beyond, but don't worry, because the elite are telling us that if things get bad enough, we can just eat bugs. In fact, many different forms of bug will soon be available for purchase in supermarkets all over Europe. European member state certified house crickets, yellow mealworms, and grasshoppers as food fit to be sold at supermarkets. The bugs will be sold in frozen, dried, and powdered forms, and will be packed with nutrients and low cost, according to Bloomberg. Earlier this month, the World Economic Forum published two articles explaining how people must get used to eating bugs. Those who can no longer afford meat, such as ham or turkey, and other traditional holiday foods, will come to find a new substitute. Before I end this video, let me mention one more thing that I am keeping an eye on. Not too long ago, scientists discovered an absolutely gigantic comet that will be traveling through our solar system. This discovery could be one for the record books, leading some to call it a mega comet. It is estimated to be between 60 and 230 miles wide, which could make it the largest comet ever discovered, Earth Sky said. To put the size in context, Halley's Comet is about 3.5 miles wide, Long Island is 118 miles long, and part of the Florida Peninsula is 160 miles across. 